Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Fabry, and I am a professional illustrator working in editorial animation and advertising industries for years. And from 2021, a Rebel featured artist. Today I will show you a little tutorial to introduce this amazing work instrument. Rebel 5. Rebel is a real art box that contains everything we need to create from drawing to finished work. I'm not joking. If you are just beginning with Rebel, please keep watching the video. I will be your guide introducing the using interface, so you can use the whole potential of this amazing software. The first window that appears to us is called New Artwork. There we can choose the size of our canvas, the width and height. Canvas formats are also available with predefined resolutions ready to be selected. If you click here, you can find a collection of canvases with different textures to choose from. It is possible to obtain new ones by clicking on this icon that takes us to the Escape Motion Store. As I said earlier, you can choose the texture of the paper and click on OK button. The interface is very clean. Don't be deceived by its simplicity. Rebel is a real virtual environment where each instrument has its own personality and a way of behaving, just like in real paint. I mean all those physical variables that differentiate artistic mediums are related and proportional to humidity, water, the inclination of the support our canvas, and also to the texture or paper grain. All these factors together are magically managed by Rebel and create on our canvas a feeling of randomness and unpredictability that makes this software unique. So let's start from our canvas, ready for painting. Let us prepare our ideal workspace by arranging the windows as we like. Each user is different and over time you will learn what combination of windows may be the best choice for you. Any window that is open can be dragged and resized from this anchor point on the right corner. And if we moved all the way to the right or left of our workspace will be merged with the interface. The first window that we open is the tools panel and as can be found under windows from the menu and tool. It opens on the left and contains our mediums. Oils and acrylics, express oils, watercolors, inks, pencils, pastels, markers and airbrushes. Under these icons we can find other tools that help us to manage the use of mediums. Undo and redo with these small curved arrows to cancel or redo the last or the next operation. We can also open another window called brushes. Each painting medium has different characteristics that can be modified and saved creating new customized brushes. All this is possible from the properties panel that we will see below. As usual, you can open properties panel from the window menu. Be careful, this window changes its features according to the selected tool. For example if we select watercolors. Here we can see the physical characteristics of each type of brush, pencil, nib, airbrush. From here we can increase for example the amount of water contained in a watercolor stroke or increase the amount of loaded paint present in an oil brush itself. Once selected we can also save a new customized brush version with a new name. If instead, if we select a selection tool the properties panel will give us all the options of this tool. For example, as we see here, with the selection tool, the properties panel shows us the various possibilities of tools. As it is obvious from here you select the colors. This is the color panel, from here we can choose brush color, it switch between circle or square. You can select color from here or with this sliders. Feel free to explore it, you can also choose between actual and secondary color. We will explore all these panels more accurately in the next tutorial I will create for you. The layers panel just as any other digital painting software, 
allows us to arrange our artwork on multiple layers. Open it from the window menu. Here we can add new layers. Remove Merge Duplicate And Group Another set of icons that makes Rebel stand out from other painting software are these at the top. Pause Diffusion Dry the layer, it has a sub-menu that allows you to wet or dry the layer. Fast Dry All these icons manage the water on our canvas adding even more realism to our experience. We can switch to water mode from here, or from the drop icon in the tools menu. If we click on the drop icon, it opens a category of brushes to that manage only the amount of water on the canvas. We see here how the water is represented in blue and it follow the canvas tilt creating drops. Always from the layers panel through this menu we can change all the visual settings. In this case, we can stop this water drops effects on canvas. By referring to the wet management on canvas I'll introduce the next panel that also affects this element, the tilt panel. The tilt panel changes the inclination of the canvas and the amount of it by changing the accelerometer length and directions of this circumference. By changing these two variables we will obtain different results, I will show you a practical example here. If we increase the length of the radius, the inclination of the sheet will increase proportionally, and this is the same for the direction, we can see here how the water path follows these variations. Shortcuts A crucial thing that I recommend is to learn to use keyboard shortcuts, not all, just the essential ones. We know that there are tablets, that allow you to manage shortcuts by programmable keys. However, if you change workstation or you travel between studios, changing workstation it will be a bit uncomfortable having to reset everything again. I therefore advise you to learn how to use the basic ones that are not so many and not even complex but on the other hand they help us a lot. Command Z, undo the last action, if clicked several times, it makes you go back action after action. Tab Z, dragging the pen on the sheet, it zooms in and out. Command and dragging to right, or left, adjust the thickness of our brush. Command and dragging up or down, adjust the transparency of the brush. Alt and click pen on the tablet surface, pick the color immediately below the pen cursor. Let's play with water. In this part of the video we will play with the water parameter and the controls that allow us to manage it at its best. As said each brush has its own characteristics depending on the medium and specifically the watercolors have these characteristics and of course water. It can be vary a lot from one brush to another. With low water values the color will not tend to expand while with higher values we see that the water in the brush will drop drip the color on the paper towards the tilt of the canvas. On this, when clicking the eye icon, we will see the water areas on the canvas, and if we move on the panel brushes, we notice the set of brushes have changed according to the water mode, and from here, we can wet the sheet without adding color. Returning at color mode by clicking again on the icon of the eye, we see the evolution of our watercolors. The water factor can also affect other mediums, such as the pencil, we do a test. We add plenty of water in a circumscribed area and we can notice the water on canvas creates strips.
Same thing happens with oil and acrylic, if we apply paint and wet the canvas in that area, the result is very interesting because the paint is dripping and even the thickness of the paint, varies following the gravity on paper. To manage the water flow, we can use this icon with the paw symbol in the layers panel, while with these other icons we will wet the whole area of the canvas or just the visible one. For now I would say that we have enough on your plate to begin with trying this fantastic software. If interested in more Rebel tutorials please subscribe to Escape Motion's YouTube channel. There will be a whole series explaining each tool. Generally speaking, in this software you can work on the same layer with all mediums simultaneously, also managing the amount of wetness, there is absolutely no need to create different levels, because the mediums work together managed by a single algorithm, that takes into account their characteristics of the water and inclination of the canvas. Very often, during free painting experience, we can notice unexpected iterations and happy accidents which inspire us to learn and make little big masterpiece. I advise, and then that's what I also do while I work, to be inspired by randomness, not trying to control everything too much and be overwhelmed by the color of the paint, as what we see everything makes its own away, we are artists, we are learning to work with a new tool, let's, have fun. Goodbye everyone, and see you soon.